Hey everyone, this is Heidi Gusted with another crochet video tutorial for you. In this one, I'm going to demonstrate how to work the honeycomb stitch in crochet, which is super textural and fun and has a really distinct right and wrong side. So if you take a look at our honeycomb swatch here, you'll see I changed colors partway through just to show what a color change would look like in this stitch because um, this stitch is a little bit uncommon. But one thing that's really cool to take notice of this stitch is that it, these wiggles form this honeycomb sort of shape throughout the work and the front side, because you're doing all of these front post double crochet stitches, sticks out a lot and has a lot of depth. And the wrong side looks completely different, which is really cool which doesn't always happen in every crochet project. And, you, and you'll notice these ridges are formed as you work the stitch. So that's just a quick look at it before we get started. So now let's grab this chain I have here. I have a few stitches chained on here. Make sure to pay attention to the stitch count as listed in your pattern before you get started. But I'm just gonna show you how to do the setup and then how to work the honeycomb stitch. So right here, we're going to start by doing a double crochet in the fourth chain from your hook. So one, two, three, and four is where our double crochet goes. And then we're going to skip two without twisting our foundation chain. So we'll skip two. And in that third one, we're going to work one double crochet And then we will chain three. And work another double crochet in that same space. Like so. So now looking at the first few stitches, we've got that initial four chain and then this chain three with the double crochets and a separate double crochet. So we're getting this kind of angled setup of our posts for our, our double crochet stitches. Next, we're gonna repeat what we just did in this first V that we formed. So we're gonna skip two and in the third chain, we're gonna double crochet, chain three and double crochet again. So there's our first one. Chain three. And our second one. And now we're gonna keep repeating these little V's that we're creating until we get to the last stitch. So one, two, three. For one final double crochet. Chain three. Double crochet. And now we will finish by skipping two more and doing one double crochet in the last stitch. And that's how you do the foundation of the honeycomb stitch. So if we look here, I started here on this green line, you can see that crisp corner formed by that last skip two double crochet in one. Next, we're gonna go over how to work subsequent rows of the honeycomb stitch. For demonstration's sake, I'm gonna to switch to working on the swatch of honeycomb stitch here. And I'm also switching to this orange color so you can see where we're starting at this part of the video. So we're changing colors and chaining three total stitches before we turn our work to the wrong side, like this. Now, we're going to do a back post double crochet stitch. And so to do that, you yarn over and you find the post of the double crochet stitch in the previous row. Then, since it's back post, we're going to come around from the back and weave our, our hook around the post, the tall part of the double crochet stitch below. Now we're going to yarn over and finish this like it's a regular old double crochet stitch. So doing the back post is a nice way to pull the work down and forward, adding a lot of texture and depth to the swatch. All right, so we've done chain three, back post, double crochet. 
And now we're going to do, in this chain space, three single crochets, just like normal. No posts to worry about here. So there's one, two, three, like that. And then we're going to back post double crochet in the next two double crochets below, the two that are kind of forming a V. That's how you know you'll need to work them in a row, is look for that V that we created. So here's one back post double crochet, and then two, doing that in the next back post. And now we're just going to repeat doing our three single crochets and our two back post double crochets until we reach the end of our row. All right, so as we come to the end of the row, you'll notice that the single crochet, the cluster of three single crochets, is worked um, at the narrower place between the Vs of the double crochet and the back post double crochet stitches that are worked right, one right after the other are in the wider chain three from the previous row. Just something to keep in mind for counting's sake. There's one more back post double crochet. And then we will do three single crochets in that last narrower space. We'll do one more back post double crochet to get that last post all squared away. And then we'll end by doing a plain old double crochet in this last opening. Now we're ready for row three. We're going to start by doing a easy chain four and turn to the right side of our work. Now this is constructed and kind of conceptually really similar to the previous row, but since we're on the right side, our um, double crochet stitches will be in the front post instead of the back to keep that uh, height to our work consistent across the swatch. So we've done a chain four and turn. Now we're going to do a front post double crochet in the next stitch, like so. And so the front post versus the back post is pretty, based on the name, I think really self-explanatory. Just make sure that you're looking for that ridge of the double crochet and working from front to back to front around it to form the stitch. I'll show that closer up again in a second too. So that's our front post double crochet. Now we're going to skip three. So those three single crochet stitches, those are the three we're going to skip. And then we'll jump right to another front post double crochet. So right here, that front post double crochet, we're going to go in to the right of the post, around the back to the front, and then work the double crochet stitch like this. Now we're going to do chain three instead of three single crochets before we're back to doing our front post double crochets. So all the way across this row, row three, will be front post double crochet once, skipping three before doing our next front post double crochet, and then chaining three. We'll do that all the way across this row. Chain three, front post double crochet, front post double crochet, chain three. And so you'll notice we're doing the chain three over the tighter space between the two front post double crochets. And then we're doing the skipping of the three 
around those single crochet stitches like that. And now to finish that row, we're going to do a super simple chain one and double crochet in this chain in the previous row. The nice thing about the honeycomb stitch is that in a lot of patterns that you see, it will list at the end of each row how many front post or back post double crochets, how many chains, and how many regular double crochets, and how many single crochets you'll need. And that's a good number to have reference as you work through this stitch, just to make sure you keep on track so your work doesn't grow or shrink more than you'd like it to. So now row four, we're almost there. We'll start with a chain three and turn. Now in this first little space, we're going to single crochet before doing back post double crochets twice. There's one and two. And the back post double crochet, remember, will go on the far side of our work to form those double crochet stitches. Now in the chain space, we'll do three single crochets. One, two, three. Before we're back to doing the back post double crochet twice and the single crochet three times all the way across. And after this, there's just one more row for the repeat. So we really are almost there, I promise. So now we've worked until these last few stitches, ending with three single crochets. Now we're gonna do two more back post double crochets. There's one and two. And we'll finish off with a single crochet and a double crochet in this last corner. Now for the very last row, which is a right side row, we're going to chain three and turn the work to the right side. Now we'll skip the next single crochet stitch before doing a front post double crochet stitch to get the row started. Then we'll chain three and do another front post double crochet. And then we'll skip three before doing that repeat of two front post double crochets followed by three chain stitches. And so just like before, we'll work all the way across this row skipping the appropriate number of stitches and chaining the appropriate number of stitches. And then at the very end, we finish it with a front post double crochet and a plain double crochet stitch in the very beginning. So this stitch is really lovely for adding a ton of texture to your project. Um, and remember the wrong side is ridged and very different than the right side, but this stitch makes really great cowls for spring and summer because of the open work of the piece. And that was how to work the honeycomb stitch and crochet. If you have any questions for us, don't forget to leave a comment and tune in again soon for even more crochet tutorials.